cards in five minutes are so achievable if you just simplify the layers the embellishments things like that and think more about the color the contrast uh, where your focal point is make sure that it's got a pop of something so the rest of the card can afford to be a little more plain so this card I'm going to show you today is exactly that it's going to have a couple of pops of color and that's just going to make sure that the card doesn't look boring at all it's going to start with some ink blending directly onto the card base. Now I've chosen three colours here because I was still sort of going autumnal a little bit. Um, this time of year for me, I love, I love the colours. Um, I love all the leaves and such. So it's going to take me a little while to get out of this colour scheme. But this is a cracked pistachio in the Distress Oxide range. Then I'm going to go up into uh, fossilised amber, which is the yellow. This is kind of a yellow going on into um, an orange almost. So that's going to go in the middle here. Look how rich and beautiful it is. Now I'm not filling my entire card base either. I'm just going in the... I suppose the right hand side two thirds of it maybe three quarters I'm not doing anything this side because I know that I'm not going to be needing to do that side which you'll see in just a moment so if you stay tuned you'll see how this card turns out and why I'm only inking this section I'm not worrying too much about my ink blending either a because we're kind of in a hurry we're going to get this done in five minutes but also because a lot of it is going to be hidden up so it doesn't matter now I've got a bit of low tack tape across the top there across the spine of my card just so that I keep that nice and clean. Going in with this beautiful crackling campfire now, just blending that down into the yellow. Again, like I say, not stressing too much. And use the yellow, the fossilized amber, just to blend that orange out. Gorgeous. Okay, so now I've got myself a lovely blend, I'm going to go on to the next stage, and that is to put my ink pads away so that they don't dry out. But take a piece of cardstock. This is the same size as my card front, cut exactly to the same size. And I'm going to take myself a bold leaf die. Now this can be one or it can be a number of these. And I'm going to cut into this a couple of times. There we go, so I've cut the leaf into my card front twice. I've spaced it out and as I said, I've kept it all to that right hand side. There we go. So thinking about the rule of threes, you want to ideally keep everything um, around the third lines, if you can, rather than halfway. And I'm just going to place this corner back here as well. So that's how that will go on there. As you can see, the colours are absolutely beautiful through. So I'm going to remove my low tack tape that I put on here in the first place to keep that nice and clean. So just peel that back. Whenever you peel back low tack tape, if you go at a 45 degree angle and fold it back on itself, like so, you should have a lovely clean peel off. Now again, to speed things up for myself, I'm going to be using large foam pads to stick this down. So there I'm just positioning that background back onto the card front, over the color, and I'll do the same with the corner as well. Now completely optional, I love to do some ink splats. This is just my preference. If you like the clean look, you of course don't have to do this at all. I'm just going to do a few around where my sentiment's going to go, which is also going to be black. So that's just by lifting the lid, the entire nozzle out of the ink bottle there. And then I'm just going to glue my sentiment on. I think I'll put that across the leaves there like so making sure that is actually straight and there we go a very very quick card that you can do at home you can change up the colors you can change up the design of the cutout you can see we've got a bit of dimension through the apertures there as well um, a really really fun card I love that and I love the movement in the splats today as well they've really sort of um, got lots of shape to them so if you like that, if you love quick cards like this and quick tutorials, make sure you check out the 5 Minute Makes playlist. I try to upload these always on a Friday for you. And also, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.